What are the best research ideas in the field of finance and economics? So if you don't know me, I am Professor Dave Masak. I'm an associate professor of innovation and strategy, and I created this whole reciprocity project to give back as much as I possibly can. I'm gonna qualify right now. I understand the field broadly, but I am not an expert in that particular area, but I can give you insights in terms of what you can do. The first thing that you might want to do is, and this is a standard approach that everybody's gonna tell you, is just go look to see at what the top people in the field are actually studying at the time. So, you know, how do you identify these particular top people? They're not gonna jump out and say, hey, we're the top people. You might want to look at the journals in that area. I don't know, it might be Journal of Financial Economics, uh, Quarterly Journal of Economics, um, you know, those kind of things and look at those particular journals and see what they're writing um, about. Who's writing what or Econometrica and see what they're writing. Now, you might find that that is really kind of boring. And I would not recommend that approach because that's not going to be the thing that you are going to find interesting. The approach that I would recommend, and it's a far different approach, it's a lot of introspection. And it's a lot of thinking about what is it that I really like? What is the phenomenon that I think is interesting? This is going to give you a lot more creative insight. And I believe most people that are top in any field does this. They don't necessarily look at what's already been done. They look at what they believe is actually going on or they're curious about something. So you might read the you know Wall Street Journal and all of a sudden there's this curious phenomenon that's going on. Or you look to see what's going on today and you're like, well, why is that actually happening? That's sort of the current event approach. But I actually like to think about introspection of what I am interested in at this given time and sort of pursue those particular things because you're going to be doing this for so long, it's ridiculous, right? So you want to figure out what is it that I am curious about and then make an analogy. Think about how you can make an analogy that is appropriate within the particular field of thinking about markets. Um, or thinking about you know how people maximize their potential or or you know satisfy their potential is the way that I pursue things or think about things it's a slightly different perspective. But you know what I would get you to think about is what is it that I really like? What is the curious thing that I find? I can walk out and you know, there's two approaches that you could do this. You walk out around the world and you just walk around and you, you just have that sort of thought of thinking about what is it that I'm curious about? What is what's going on? I go into a pub or a bar and I look around, I see different behavior. How does that actually relate to markets, for example? Or, you know, the other thing is to look at what you spend the most amount of money on at any given time. And that must be important to you and it must be important to probably more than just you as well, right? So it might be a hobby that you might be interested in, might be, might be food that you like and you sort of pursue those particular things and you find down the, the, the value chain or down some place where you might actually come up with some sort of interesting thing, curious thing. And it takes a little bit of time to find out, but that's what I would figure out is what is it that's unique about me? What is my story? What am I curious about? Did you grow up in a very, um, you know, did you grow up in a very wealthy family? Well, why is that different than somebody else's experience? Did you grow up in a very poor family? Why is it your experience is different than somebody else? What's actually going on there? Why does it feel the way that you feel? How come the world um, is set up in this particular way? Like think about those really broad questions and you'll really get a sense of where the field is actually going and what you're doing. Now, I could tell you any number of different things and topics, but you know what? People are interested in everything and you can sort of pursue this in different ways, right? What is it, um, Becker? Uh, looked at the economics of family, I believe. Um, that's pretty interesting, I think. And that was kind of curious to look at that kind of stuff. You know, those kind of things where you just kind of look around and you're like, okay, I see a mud puddle. That is weird. Why does that mud puddle exist? Can I apply the understanding of, of the way that I think about markets 
or the way that I think about economics to mud puddle formation. I mean, it might seem crazy, but that's how you get insights. That's how you think about things. You sort of peruse and you look at different phenomena around you to sort of get insight and in what's actually going on. And you also want to sort of pursue the thing that you resonate with, that, that you actually like, because it's just such a long, long journey. It's really stupidly long. Like you're going to be doing this for 10, 15, oh, I mean, like it's way too long. So find something that you find interesting that you would like to pursue because it's decades of, of research that you're going to be doing and thinking about. So broader questions, big, broad, um, difficult to answer questions are probably very interesting to a lot of people. Now you have to sort of think about and be practical. Where do you actually get data for this? Data is everywhere today and it's easy to actually get this data. So I would think about that different forms of data, whether it's quantitative or qualitative. Qualitative is a little harder in particularly in your field. Um, but you know, it's possible to find those particular qualitative understanding. I think one of the best books that I've read that's so interesting is Stone Age Economics. It's an anthropology perspective on, on economics and markets. I think it's really interesting. You know, a lot of this stuff, Oliver Williamson's work, for example, I think he won the Nobel Prize, was, was very qualitative in a lot of different ways in thinking about transaction cost, cost economics. Um, you know, thinking about these particular things are really helpful and, and you can sort of peruse these different directions on what you want to go to and how you want to understand the world. And I would get you to think about what is it that I am curious about? Not necessarily what is hot, but what I'm curious about. And then once you find that, you know, you got to get the data. And, and a big thing today, and it's probably going to change, but you know, is, is thinking about um, identification and and thinking about how you're actually going to solve this particular problem. And, you know, all of this stuff is a flavor of the week. It all sort of changes. So that's why I want you to sort of think about what is it that I love? What is it that I find interesting? What is it that's curious, right? Like think about the toy market, for example. Wouldn't that be cool to study the toy market and think about how toys actually get made? It's pretty fascinating when you start taking a deep dive in any of those things. And that's where I want you to think about is what is it that's going on? How does this actually work? Think about the implications of APIs in financial markets, right? There's a whole bunch of stuff that's going on with APIs and computers and stuff like that. Well, why not investigate that? Wouldn't that be curious to find out what's actually going on? We don't know. I'm sure there's some research on it. And this is the other thing that you're going to find out is that virtually everything that you can think of is is going to seem like there's unbelievable amounts of research on it but then when you actually take that deep dive and you and you start reading about it you're like holy crap nobody knows anything about this topic and i'm actually going to per pursue this thing and and sort of expand this that it's just there's so much to be done it's endless and you have to figure out how to actually pursue it so just get out there find something that's interesting Find something that you love. Talk about the economics of dogs. Talk about the financial markets of, of um, I don't know, the financial markets of, of, of chairs, right? Like think about all these kind of random weird things and you're gonna discover things that are really fascinating. And, it, and it, what you're gonna do is go into different perspectives that are very theoretical, but then you're gonna come back and think about the sort of real world stuff. That's what you do, you kind of go out and think very lofty and then you come back in and then you go out and think that, you know, it's this sort of trade-off that you actually, um, where you're thinking broadly and abstractly and then come back and then think about the particular phenomenon that you're thinking about. All right, take care and have a wonderful day. That's the best I can do. All right, take care, bye.